Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aparna. I'm a senior consultant uh, and fertility specialist in OSS Fertility, Ananagar, Chennai. So now we will uh, see if PCOS cause other, uh, whether PCOS causes other problems or not. Now PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now what happens here, here the ovaries have got small cysts. So that's why it's known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now how does it affect and what is the inheritance? Now normally PCOS is a metabolic condition. Now if the mother has had a PCOS, then it could be possible that even she might have uh, passed it on to her daughters. Uh, so uh, it's basically a metabolic condition and in which the periods are irregular and there is uh, increased weight. Uh, mostly uh, they are overweight or obese sometimes there could be lean PCO patients also now normally patients tell us uh, we have become uh, uh, I, I have PCO so I have become fat no it's just the other way around because the weight is more the PCO problem is more so if you lose your weight, so if a, if a girl tries to lose her weight by as much as 5% also, say she's 80 kgs and she tries to lose 5% of her weight, which is just about 4 kgs, even then there could be some regularity of her periods. The periods will not be as irregular as they were before. There will definitely be an improvement in the pattern of the menstrual cycle. So what other problems does it cause? One, PCO causes irregular cycles and sometimes there is no ovulation. So it's called an ovulatory PCO. Sometimes the egg does not release. So only if the egg is formed, it can unite with the sperm and it can lead to uh, pregnancy. Suppose there is no, suppose they are trying for a pregnancy, a couple is trying for a pregnancy and the wife is having PCO and she is not able to form the eggs. In that case, what happens? She will be, she might be getting her periods, but the egg will not be formed. They may be together, but it will not result in a pregnancy. So one is, so first is the ovulatory problem could be there and because of this, it can lead to infertility problem. And PCO normally is associated with other metabolic disorders like they could develop type 2 diabetes in the future or they could develop uh, lipid disorders hyperlipidemia cholesterol disorders hypertriglyceridemia they could be candidates for cardiac problems and there could be increased weight as well so what is the treatment for this and how do we combat it one first and foremost always the treatment is lifestyle modification that is lifestyle modification as in diet proper diet and exercise an active lifestyle not a sedentary lifestyle diet exercise and weight loss these are the three things that are very important for uh, combating pcos and definitely if you lose the weight if you lose weight if we are not asking you to lose weight say from 80 kgs to 50 55 kgs but little by little say every month one kg or half a kg if you lose also in a year it becomes uh, 6 to 10 kgs of weight loss which is very very good so if you can lose your weight gradually always always weight loss should always be gradual it should not be a crash dieting it should not be sudden and it should not be a crash dieting followed by binge eating in which there is no use at all so weight loss should always be gradual and if you can lose your weight definitely PCO can be kept in check will it go away completely no just as we have diabetes we have hypertension and we can control it very well by taking medication similarly so PCO also can be controlled extremely well by proper lifestyle modification diet exercise and weight loss so but once the uh, weight increases or the diet goes um, a little bit awry or uh, the exercise part is not done properly it could again manifest itself by uh, in the form of irregular periods or infertility etc so always if you have a proper lifestyle definitely PCO can be kept in check